Hello guys, it's Dr. Cinema, and my hat is Venom, and we're talking about Venom. So before we get into it, just want to say that I'm going to try to not do spoilers in here. I'm not, I don't plan on doing spoilers. But in case I, for some reason, absentmindedly say a spoiler in this film, consider this your warning. Anyway, Venom is based on the Marvel comic character about a symbiote who attaches himself to human Eddie Brock. And it's in inspired by the Lethal Pre Protector miniseries, where he's in San Francisco, becomes a sort of anti-hero. Now... There's been a lot of reviews really going at it hard in this movie. To give you a very simple summary of what I thought of the film, I liked it. It's not great. There's some great stuff in it, but it's not great. But I'm glad I saw it. Basically, what it boils down to for me is Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock and Venom. Yes, he does the voice for Venom too, the symbiote. Tom Hardy is by far the best part of this film. His ability to play off of essentially himself in the film is actually very enjoyable, very entertaining. And there are some good action scenes that I personally really liked. So, if you like Tom Hardy and you like his performance in this film, you're going to have a good time. If you're not usually a Tom Hardy fan, or for some reason you just don't like his performance in this film, yeah, chances are you're not really going to like it that much. But what about the other parts of the film? Well, the story is pretty much a standard origin story. So I guess the reason why people are really criticizing this origin story is because people were going in hoping to get an R-rated, very dark first film for Venom because that's the kind of character he is. Of course, the PG-13, I will admit, does sort of hurt the film a little bit based on like how certain action shots and like kills were edited, you could tell that it is a little bit restrained in its PG-13 rating. And I would love to see an R-rated Venom film with Tom Hardy back in the role. Hopefully that's something that can happen in a sequel, depending on how well this movie does, financially speaking. The villain of this movie is Carlton Drake. Standard villain. Not much to say. Really not much to say. Some of this, there are a few other supporting characters. The only one really worth talking about is Michelle Williams as Annie. And I actually liked her in this movie. She was actually pretty good. I enjoyed her. I did enjoy the relationship between her and Eddie Brock. So that was actually pretty good. Now, I do want to address some of the other reviews that have come out talking about Venom, saying how this is a movie that somehow slipped through a wormhole from the 2000s, that this is comparable to Catwoman. First of all, this does have a sort of 2005 to it. But this was sort of expected. I mean, Sony has been planning a Venom solo movie since Spider-Man 3, so of course you're going to have a little bit of that kind of vibe to this movie. As for the comparisons to Catwoman, what the fuck? People who say this either have not seen Catwoman or don't fucking remember it. Venom does take inspiration from the actual comic material, The Lethal Protector. And while they do have to change a good amount of stuff, such as Venom's connection to Spider-Man, since Spider-Man is not in this Venom film, I'd say they still did it in a way that still generally worked. And it does pay homage to several aspects of Venom's history in the comics. But the Catwoman film... 
It ignored the comic source material so much that Catwoman isn't even named Selina Kyle. Her name is Patience. Fucking Patience. What? 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 Not talking about that. Point is, this movie is not nearly as bad as people say it is. This coming from a person who liked Tom Hardy in this movie. And this goes back to what I said. If you like Tom Hardy in this movie, you're going to have a good time. If you, for some reason you don't like Tom Hardy's performance in this movie, then yeah, this probably isn't for you. But I think this is a movie that's still worth checking out. And I think there's still enjoyment to be had in this film. And that's really all I have to say in this movie. There are some cool Easter eggs, and I the setup for a potential Venom sequel... I hope they do a better job with the story, and I hope we get an R rating. But that remains yet to be seen. So, comment down below your thoughts. Like, subscribe, and share. Doc Cinema, see you guys next time.